Welcome, folks. Uh, today, we'll be talking about how you can protect Kubernetes applications deployed in GKE using our latest offering, Backup for GKE. First, a quick intro. My name is Manu Batra. I am part of the product management team here at Google, looking after container native storage and hybrid storage area. To start with, as we see in the industry, Kubernetes is becoming the de facto platform for all cloud native applications. It has crossed the chasm as per the latest CNCF survey. And the number of developers using Kubernetes has grown to about 5.6 million, which is over 67% increase from the last year. So as we can see, the adoption is absolutely growing with a lot of new applications and new developers adopting Kubernetes for any cloud native applications. But where are customers are finding challenges, how do they scale their deployments? Day one, day two challenges are coming in. So customers are looking for more polished, integrated, easy to use solutions, especially around the various areas of how do they protect workloads and applications deployed in Kubernetes. So with that, let's talk about what are the key use cases that customers are looking for. Kubernetes helps you increase your application deployment rates. But with that, there is always a risk that something may not work in the latest versions and how quickly we can help customers roll back to a previous good version. So an application rollback is a key use case that customers are looking for. Second is, if I'm doing CI CD pipelines and I want to test my build before I deploy in production, can I make a copy of my production, deploy a smaller set, in my test environment, how quickly can I do it? How automated way how I can do it? How seamlessly I can do it? That's a new challenge. And of course, a very classical use case of, I want to migrate my application from cluster A to cluster B. I want to migrate my application from region A to region B, or I want to scale my application because I have a new set of users in a different geo, in a different region coming up. And then the classic use case of, I have a compliance requirement. I want to protect my application from a zonal regional failures. There are also use cases around customers are looking for how do I archive my application and data for long-term compliance purposes. So these are some of the common use cases we hear from customers and they're looking for how can we address these use cases in the most seamless way possible. So with that, I do want to introduce our latest offering from Google Cloud, Backup for GKE. Backup for GKE is a fully integrated product in, in the GKE, and it provides a Google Cloud managed service to protect Kubernetes, op, Kubernetes applications and persistent data for backup and disaster recovery. Couple of key highlights. Backup for GK will enable you to unlock the next generation of workloads that are stuck on-prem or you're not able to bring them to the cloud because they you have strict SLAs around backup and DR. So those workloads can absolutely be unlocked and move and they, they can now move to GKE. It is a cloud native application, which means it's fully integrated into the GKE console. Uh, it, you can use the same IAM permissions, same access controls, and it enhances and takes the GKE leadership and Kubernetes management even further. As a user, you have complete control over what gets backed up, where it gets backed up. So whether you want to back up an entire cluster or only one application on or a set of namespaces inside it, you have complete control over it. And with that, you also have complete flexibility to choose where you want to restore. You can restore the workload in the same region, in the same cluster, in a new namespace, or in an entirely different region, in a new cluster, in a new namespace that you can restore. So you have complete flexibility depending on what use cases you're looking to execute with Backup for GK. And on top of it, you can have a very much hands-off operations with policy. You can set policies to how frequently you want the backup, life cycle of the backup, how many backups to maintain and when to drop the backups based on data retention policies. Not only that, this, uh, the policy engine also allows you to do a time lock of the backups 
especially to protect against ransomware and malicious deletions of the backups in case the system happens to be compromised. So as you can see, it's a seamless way to protect your backups uh, and your workloads running in GKE. Now let's jump into a quick demo on how easily and seamless it is to enable backup for GKE on your existing GKE clusters or new GKE clusters. Let's do a quick demo of backup for GKE. For the backup demo, we're going to do uh, we're going to create two clusters. One, a primary cluster called Postgres cluster. We're going to create the cluster in a rapid channel with 1.24. Next, we'll enable the backup for GKE add-on. We'll select specific machine types, in this case, E2 standard 2, and our cluster is created. Now let's create the secondary cluster. Again, in rapid channel with 1.24, with similar machine types, enable backup for GKE. So now we have two clusters, one for backup, other we're going to restore that backup. Let's log into our primary cluster, deploy Postgres. Let's log into Postgres, create a table, and insert some data. Let's insert learning GKs fun, database on GKR easy. So when we take a backup and we restore, we'll check if the same table with the data it can be retrieved on the restore cluster. So now let's go to backup for GK, create a new backup plan. We have two clusters. We select the cluster we want to backup. We will give this backup plan a name. It's a Postgres plan, backup plan. We select the target where we want to store the data and we have the backup plan. Let's take an instantaneous or a quick backup. This is a manual backup. We'll give this backup a name. And let's check if our backup's done. Our backup has succeeded. Now let's walk through the process to restore. Let's create a restore plan. Let's select where we want to restore. We want to restore all the namespaces in the backup. We want to create new volumes on backup. So we're selecting all the options for creating a backup plan. Let's keep default for restoration rules. Now let's go back to backup for GKE. We have a new backup for GKE, restore plan for Postgres. We have a new backup. Now let's restore this backup with the plan we just created into the new cluster. As you can see, our restore was successful. Now let's log into the new cluster and see if the data that we created on the primary cluster and all the config has been recreated into this new cluster. So my Postgres workload is recreated onto the Postgres cluster restore. All my config, storage classes, settings, PBBC claims are also restored. So as you saw, Backup for GKE provides an easy way to protect workloads deployed in GKE. Backup for GKE supports multiple versions. For more details on different versions that are supported, uh, please refer to the documentation. Thanks for taking time to learn about Backup for GKE. For additional videos, please subscribe to Google Cloud Tech Channel.